Hi, my name is Carl. That's me on the left. I'm a certified personal trainer, and I run the website sixpackabsexercises.com. This clip is the second in a series of two. If you haven't seen the first one, I recommend you look it up under the uh, More from Carl Juno on the right, if you're on YouTube. In the first clip, I told you about training zones. I told you what a training zone was, and how it could help you get six-pack abs. Today I'd like to tell you exactly which training zone does that the best. Which one helps you get six-pack abs faster. And I'll tell you exactly how it does that. I hope you like it, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Now that you know um, what's a training zone, and uh, the number one reason you should use it, that is to know when to upgrade your exercises, and now that you know how to upgrade them, well, the next question, I think, is which training zones should you use? Is there is a training zone that's going to help you get six-pack abs faster when you train? Because that's what we want, right? Well, the answer is yes. There is. There are two, actually. The first one is the hypertrophy type training zone. Okay, I like to quote two well-known researchers in the exercise sciences, Stephen Flack and William Kramer, American scientists, well-known. They wrote this big book, okay, Designing Resistance Training Programs, and inside, you can find on page 167, I'll read it for you, although significant strength increases have been reported using loads corresponding to 8 to 12 RM, RM stands for repetition maximum, okay? For, for you and me today, that will be repetitions, okay? So using loads corresponding to 8 to 12 RM reps, this load range appears to be the most effective for increasing muscular hypertrophy. Okay, muscular hypertrophy is just a fancy way of saying bigger muscles, okay? Hypertrophy means hyper is bigger, and trophy means size, okay? So, bigger size, bigger size muscles, okay? So, loads corresponding to 8 to 12 RM appear to be the most effective for increasing muscular hypertrophy. So, that's part of the answer. In another book by Mel Sif, Super Training, well-known book, on page 11, you'll see this chart. Okay, I've copied it for you. And uh, this chart tells you which uh, load, okay, and which reps, how many reps you should do according to your training goal. So, for example, if your training goal is hypertrophy, according to Mel Sif, you should do reps. You should do between 8 and 15 reps per set. That's the rep range or the training zone that's going to help you get your muscles bigger the fastest. Finally, uh, last book for today, um, The Encyclopedia of Muscle and Strength by uh, Jim Stopani on page 14. He had this little continuum that says that uh, sets of between 7 and, uh, not sure where he put that line, I would say 12, 7 and 12 reps are the best for growing muscle. So, in summary, okay, in short, the hypertrophy type training zone, if you sum up everything uh, I've just showed you, is between 8 to 12 reps. RM, again, stands for repetition maximum. By repetition maximum, they mean a rep that's your last rep. Okay, so a 10 RM set is a set you've done with a weight with which you wouldn't have been able to do 11 reps. So it's a maximum set, meaning that you cannot you would not have been able to do one more rep than the amount you did. 
I might have uh, went a little fast on the hypertrophy uh, thing. So um, let me tell you why we want to use a hypertrophy type training zone to help us get six pack abs. Okay, so I'll go back here. In this um, in this drawing, we're lean. We can see our abs, but they're not defined yet. In this one, we've got the six pack look. Okay, in the third one, hypertrophy type training helps us get six pack abs by making our abdominal muscles grow. Abdominal muscles are like any other muscles on your, in the body, okay? They respond to different stimulus, and the best stimulus to help them grow is, as we've seen, sets of between 8 and 12 reps. And that runs contrary to what a lot of the other trainers tell you. Normally, what you see for... Uh, abdominal training is long sets of 15, 20, 25 reps or more, okay? But as, as we've seen from the books of the exercise sciences, excuse me, is that as we've seen, well, muscles respond best to sets of 8 to 12 reps to grow. And when you want to go from Picture two to picture three, okay? Well, what's the difference between two and three? The difference is bigger abs, bigger muscles. And bigger abs will show more, they will be more defined, and that's how and the hypertrophy type training zone can help you get six pack abs. So I that's it. I hope you liked it. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you'd like to get more free tips to help you get six-pack abs, simply click the link to your right under the big subscribe button. Talk soon. Bye-bye.